YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the 20th episode of the Anderlecht -like Career Mode. In this episode, we play four games, three in the Barclays Premier League, and also another game in, I believe, the Capital One Cup. So, some good competitions to get our season just going underway, as we see that, I believe it was Mbolo coming back from an injury, so that's very good to get one of our two main strikers back. But we're going to be running Vieto, Unal, Thielmans, Hoiberg, Rabiot, Defor, Davies, Stones, Nutrek, Van de Born, and Proto in goal. So, hopefully, they can get a win against the West Ham side that we recently knocked out of the Capital One Cup, so maybe they'll be looking for revenge against us, and early in this game, it's Andy Carroll going through, and he bags the first goal of the game to give West Ham a 1-0 lead in 27th minute, so that wasn't very good, just giving away the first goal of the game kind of cheaply, because uh, we just lost the ball, gave up possession pretty cheaply, and then West Ham came back on the counterattack and made us pay for it with Andy Carroll netting the goal on his strong left foot. So that was a disappointing start and definitely not the one that I want entering this game. But we would try to make it something happen before halftime, but the whistle would blow for halftime as that was kind of disappointing. But here comes Vieto on the ball. He dribbles it around with Snorita. has that shot, and he scores goal. Luciano Vieto scores another goal for Anderlecht. He's been in some decent form now after his first game was kind of a struggle, but he's just playing really well. Now Unal on the ball. He loses the ball, gets it right back, gives it inside Vieto. Oh, it should have been a brace for him. But now we have a corner right here, and it's Defor to pass the outside. It's Hoiberg. Hoiberg has a hit. Oh, it's a stunning goal from Pierre Hoiberg. Where did this come out of? He just had a hit from right outside the box as we played the short corner, and it just rattles in off the post. This Stunning hit from Hoiberg, just an amazing shot. Look at it right here on the replay, just fantastic. And that's how the game would end, 2-1, to one. Andrew Leck get the win. So we're actually in some fantastic form right now, is now we go into our QPR game. We're doing really well right now, is I just really am really excited to see if this team can keep it up. As you see, I believe it's the exact same lineup as last game, besides Mbolo is coming in for now. Even though he still has the Band-Aid on, I believe that he can still do pretty good. As here we go into this game, we're starting off against QPR with Steven Defor on the ball. He passes it outside to Vanderborn. Vanderborn cuts it inside and tries to make something happen, but he eventually gives it back outside Defor. Defor is going to be dribbling. He loses the ball for a split second right here, but it goes into Vanderborn. Vanderborn to Rabiot. Rabiot tries to make a dangerous pass, and Diakite intercepts, but here comes Farland for QPR. He plays it inside to Shane Long. Long with the shot, and it just goes wise. That could have been a one-note lead for QPR. Is now here comes Zambolo on the ball. He plays through Luciano Vieto. Vieto's going. He's going around the keeper. He strikes for the goal, and oh, it goes in the side netting. It really should have been one nil right there, but Zambolo on the ball. He gives up to Davies. Davies to Vieto shoots. It goes in. He's falling over when he takes this shot and it just creeps into the corner of the net. It was just stunning how this soft shot went in right now. But when we're playing pretty lucky, we're playing pretty lucky as oh my. Just just a really soft hit from him right there as it just kind of creeps in after it nutmeg the defender. Really creative from the young Argentinian as that leads us into the end of the first half. At one nil, I did decide to make a change at around the 70th minute because Mbolo, as he had the Band-Aid, he was kind of looking tired out there on the pitch, as a, and I wanted to give Armentos another game in the squad, so I do that. But now in the 90th minute, we're right here. Nothing really happened in the second half. QPR couldn't break down our defenses. That's something that we're really doing a better job. We're limiting their chances, and we got the win. Uh, maybe a lucky goal from Vieto, but... I mean, I'll take any three points as we can take them right now as we're just playing so well right now as that's another three points for us. Now we're going into the Capital One Cup game against Knott's County. And the team I'm rocking with is Poulsen, Unal, Baker, Bentaleb, Amini, Yedlin, Konstolas, Sula, and Bemba, Henley, and Proto. And I know a lot of you are thinking uh, your center backs are better than your center backs at your starters. And you own the ones that are in your backups, yet you don't own all of them as your starters. What's the plan? Well, right now I'm actually running with my backup center backs, kind of, because with the way we're playing right now, I don't want to change the team at all. Sure, throughout the year, Mbemba and Sula are going to come into the first team, but that's not until we reach a rough point of stretches. Here comes Henley running down the wing. He crosses it in and pulls and bags the first goal. But as I was saying, if we're playing so well right now, why would I bring back Mbemba or Sula into the first team squad when we're just playing so well? 
well. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's my thinking so far. By the end of the year, I'm sure Mbemba and Sula will, one of them will have a first place spot over Stones because we don't own him. But as of right now, I'm totally comfortable running with two guys that are older and don't have as much potential because it's just working right now. And if it's working right now, why should we try to break something when we're having the best form we ever had in this career mode? So that's just my thinking as we get a win over Knox County in the Capital One Cup. So it's always good to progress in this competition as you also get news that Blackburn Rovers will be around four opponents. So we're moving along pretty well in this competition. Now we go into the final game of the episode against Liverpool, another team who we will be competing for for that Europa League bid if we're up there. So this is a very important game. It's another one of our rivals because they, as you know, the first time we played them hurt two of our players. So we put them on our rivalry list as this is just a really important game, just like Everton. Two teams that could beat us to Europa League bids. If we can get three points from them, that'd be really good. As Here comes Defo. He plays the through ball into Mbolo. Mbolo's going to dribble around. He does a fake shot. The shot. It's a goal. Mbolo goal returns with another goal. I believe it's his first this season, but it was still a really decent move by Mbolo dribbling around. Then the fake shot just was really good, and the finesse shot was on point with the placing of the shot. But here comes Saidi into Stevie Gerrard. Gerard over the top through to Daniel Sturridge, and he p puts the goal away on his weaker right foot. So I was a little surprised how he did that, but just a good ball through by Gerard, and Sturridge doesn't have much of trouble putting that one in the back of the net. But here comes Zambolo. He's dribbling around. He's trying to do a triple tap cross, but Glenn Johnson, of all people, is there to put it away. As that is the end of the first half. A decent first half for us, 1-1. Could have been better, but could have been worse if Mbolo didn't score. But here comes Mbolo right here. He dribbles it around one guy. He's going around. It looks like he has a space to shoot. He takes the shot. But Lovren, of all people, with another deflection. A bunch of strange people in this Liverpool side. Glenn Johnson, Lovren, Asaidi. Like, what is going on with this Liverpool side? Daniel Agger, like, and Mario Balotelli. Like, this is like a team full of jokes in real life. And they're just kind of playing well in the video game. As you see that we struggled to a draw right there in that game couldn't really create anything in the second half besides the Mbolo chance, but that is the end of the episode, and next episode you see we face Wigan Athletics, so yeah, that's the end of the episode, hope you guys enjoyed.